You're looking to live here in Florida and you're trying to figure out what the difference between Sarasota and Bradenton is? We're going to help you figure that out coming right up. Welcome to Sarasota, Florida Living, where we teach you everything Sarasota and the surrounding areas. Hey, today we have for you, should I live in Bradenton or Sarasota? We're going to help you figure it out by looking at the location, the cost of living, the schools, the crime, the activities in the areas, and stick around to the end because I got a little bonus about a story between the Hatfields and the McCoys. So let's get to it. So Manatee County and Sarasota are just south of Tampa by about 45 minutes. They have a lot of the same beaches, a lot of the same things going on, but there's some distinct differences. You'll notice that Manatee County has got Bradenton underneath because a lot of times people call this area Bradenton because the largest city in Manatee County is Bradenton, so it just normally the whole county gets called Bradenton. And that's where you get, are you gonna live in Sarasota or are you gonna live in Bradenton? When it comes to cost of living, we look at a couple key factors. We're looking at the jobs, taxes, and the cost of housing. As we look at jobs, we look at the unemployment rate for the nation is about 4.4%. And both of our counties run a little lower than that. We're at 3.9% in Bradenton, and we're at 3.7% in Sarasota. So you're very close in between with most jobs in both counties coming from medical, hospitality, construction, and business. As we move into taxes, taxes are pretty similar with the two counties also, with the sales tax being 7% in both counties. But also, as we look at the property tax, the property tax is a little more an advantage for Sarasota. The average property tax for Manatee County is about 0.92% of the assessed value of the home. And in Sarasota, it's about 0.89. So very close, but it's just a slight advantage to the Sarasota on the property tax. So as we get into housing costs, this is where the big difference is. It's about 8.7% less expensive to purchase a home in Bradenton than it is into Sarasota. When it comes to rents, you look at Sarasota County and about 69% of the apartments are at that $1,500 and below. And then when you switch over to Bradenton, you'll know that about 81% of the rents for the apartments are under $1,500. And then also in Sarasota, you have to go back and look that about 9% are over $2,000, where in Bradenton, only about 1% are over $2,000. As we look at schools, this is normally the factor that makes the big difference, depending if you have a family or you're retiring and if you need schools or not. Sarasota is ranked number two out of 61 in the state districts, and Bradenton's ranked number 32 out of 61. So if you have families and you're really looking at schools, this might be a deciding factor. Pineview is in Sarasota County, is the number one high school in the state of Florida and number seven in the country. And in Manatee County and Bradenton, you have Lakewood Ranch and Braden River hitting solid scores for their rankings in Manatee County. So now we look at safety for these two counties. This question is asked quite a bit, especially for people that are moving into the area. And both areas are fairly safe. We've been here for 30 years, we've raised our kids here, and we've had little issues at all. So as you look into Bradenton, you'll notice that the crimes for 2019 was a little less than 1,700 per 100,000 people, where in Sarasota it was a little higher than 1,700 per 100,000 people. But you also notice that in this chart that more of the crimes in Bradenton were in the violence section as opposed they were in Sarasota. So we're kind of balanced in there. And you also notice around other counties, there was a little more crime than in these two areas. So I feel these two areas are very safe. I believe if you understand which areas have more problems than others, you're gonna be perfectly fine here to enjoy yourself in your shopping and spending time with friends. So when it comes to activities and things to do, you have Sarasota where it's really well known for the number one beach in the country, Siesta Key Beach. You also have Siesta Key Village very close by that a lot of tourists love to go visit, locals also. You have the Baltimore Orioles training camp, you have the Braves training camp, you also have the Ringling Art Museum. You have Legacy Trail that stretches from Venice all the way to Sarasota for your running and biking needs. And one of my favorite things to do is go over to O'Leary's and sit on the water, listen to music, have some beer and fish and chips. And in Bradenton, you have Lakewood Ranch, one of the fastest growing areas in all the U.S. You also have Anna Marie Island with its wonderful little shops and amazing beaches. You have the Pirates Baseball, you have Tropicana, and you also have Trium where you can soar through the trees 
and challenge yourself physically. So now we come down to a little fun fact or folklore or grudge or whatever it is, something like with the Soches and the Greasers and the Outsiders. I think it stems from a little history going back to 1921 when Sarasota was part of Manatee County and actually the citizens of that Sarasota town weren't happy with the representation, the taxes and things that were going on so they wanted to separate. And after a couple years back and forth, a gentleman by the name of John Burkett, an attorney from Ohio that owned a lot of property in the Sarasota area. So he helped the legislation get set up to separate from Manatee County into its own county of Sarasota. So maybe some of the generational families left in both counties have that little grudge that creates that little mythical uh, rivalry between the two counties. So do you want to know more about Bradenton and living in Lakewood Ranch? Check out this video right here. And if you want to know more about Sarasota and where to live in Sarasota, check out this video right here. Hey again, I'm Dan Henson. I'm your realtor here in Sarasota. People are calling me every day to move down here. If I can help you in any way, give me that call, shoot me that text, or shoot me that email, and I'll be there for you. Until next video, you have a great day, a wonderful week, and a tremendous year. Thank you so much.